keeps changing on us. So preserve all of your photos and videos by replacing those obsolete DVDs and CDs. Hi, I'm Mandela Scott and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Tech is always changing, so something that used to be high tech is now obsolete. Think of the ton of CDs and DVDs that you have all of your photos and videos on. But getting off the content can provide you with a few problems. In this video, I'm going to give you solutions to the three key problems when it comes to replacing your obsolete CDs and DVDs. Problem number one, your computer does not have a disk drive. The solution? Buy one. Yes, it is that simple. There are some good options out there of varying cost and spec. A great option is the Asus Zen Drive, which has a reasonable spec and has both a USB-A and a USB-C connection. So perfect for the job. On the Mac, there is the USB Super Drive, which watch out, it only comes with a USB type A, the little square connection, which nice new Macs don't have. Are they trying to tell us something? So you will have to go and get another little cable to be able to convert it and plug it in to the USB-C socket. Not very helpful. Problem two, it is just too slow or won't give up your content. The solution, check out CD Roller. Some CDs and DVDs are so old and worn out that they just won't give up your content. It can take way too long to copy or once you've copied it over, the file just won't work. How annoying. But never fear, there is a solution. CD Roller is a data recovery software that will scan those difficult CDs and DVDs and give you the content. It may take some time, so you need to be a little bit patient. But you can try it for 14 days to see if it will do the job before you fully commit to buying it. Problem number three, random video formats. The solution? Use a file conversion tool. Not only has tech moved on over time, but so have file formats and what file types our tech will like. Some of the older formats don't like our new spangly tech, but there is a wealth of free file conversion tools out there that you can either download or use online. A great free option is Handbrake, which works with both PC and Mac. It can be a little bit mind-blowing with all the settings, but get past that and the queuing feature to load up a group of files and then set them off running as a queue is pretty darn great. For any VLC media users out there, did you know that you can use it to convert your videos to MP4s? And for any non-VLC users out there, it is a free open source media player that likes pretty much every video format. But how do you do it? Open the media player and go to the media or file menu at the top and select convert slash save. Click add to find and add the file you want to modify, then click convert slash save. Next, in the profile section, click on the drop down menu and select the MP4 option, which will be in the brackets or parentheses. Choose where you want to save your file in the browse area at the bottom and then Click Start. So there you go. Now you can throw away all those bulky CDs and DVDs. I wonder what will be the next piece of tech we will have to replace. Do you have any simple tips and tricks to replacing your obsolete media? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photo and videos? Don't know where to start? I've put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos and videos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.